Hello, welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod. And, um, this is a brand new day for me. I don't mean just literally. Um, new stream. And, uh, you might notice if you're watching now on Twitch, I got a new button or two added on. Uh, I finally reached a certain important milestone. Kind of cool. I've, I don't know what to think of it. If anyone has suggestions for me, watching on Twitch or seeing this afterwards, like how I should run things, things that might, I don't know, things I should take advantage of, please, please drop me a message. Tell me what I could do or what I should do. Maybe suggestions you've heard or experienced, because this is new for me. I've, I'm now breaching new ground for me, for myself. I don't know what to do from here. I'm just going to keep doing what I do, which is doing crazy, weird Marvel Puzzle Quest things that seem to work and don't seem to have a lot of people... Um, abusing it for some reason anyways what does that mean for today well today I got two things I want to run uh, one we have to peer into madness uh, we got to take on Gargantos and it's the final rounds final fights whatever you want to call it so he's the hardest he's gonna be and it's, it's just to show as an example that you don't have to use five stars to get through I have a whole list of them but hey let's just use four stars and below and show everyone else that you could still help your alliance without having fives. What's up, Mori? Got a five-star Wong yesterday and got a five-star Lady Thor. Nice. Cool. That's good stuff right there. Especially the Lady Thor. I mean, Wong's cool. It has his uses, but let's, let's just say what it is. Lady Thor is pretty top-notch. Um, so we're appearing into madness, but first, let's before we get into that, let's go into Deadpool's Daily and get rid of that Crash of the Titans. I know Puzzle Gauntlet's here, and we're waiting for that, but I can only do so many things in one day. Because think about it, I think it, there's there's time, there's things to do, adult responsibilities, got kiddos to put to bed. I mean, so tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, I promise we'll get to Puzzle Gauntlet. But for today, let's do Crash of the Titans, do some peer into madness, call it a day. Beat Gargantos with Puck. Are you... Mori? <laughs> I need you to think about your words. Um, Gargantos with Puck. Ah, don't make me start thinking about it. <laughs> I'll do it, too. I'll think about it way too hard. No, I got extra new tricks to play with today. Uh, some new tricks I've been playing with back in the, the good old lab I like to call shield training. And I uh, found some new things today that are really fun to mess around with. Anyways, but for, before we get into that, Deadpool Daily Quest. Crash the Titans, to be example. To be for the... I can't say words. Ugh, four star Gamora. Three, five, three. She's not even using five in two of her colors. So she's not cheating. She's under. Um, underachieving, I guess you could say. <clears throat> so Gamora... Let's talk a little bit about what she does, what she came from. When she first stepped into Marvel Puzzle Quest, four-star Gamora this is, um, she came into the scene and caused a little bit of a ruckus because of her blue. For a measly six blue, you can stun two people when it's at level five, okay? With a front person for three turns and a random other person for one turn. That was amazing and still is to this day. Six blue gets you two people stunned and out of your hair for a minute. That's amazing. And then uh, on top of it, she has a passive that says, hey, if every time you stun somebody, you get a strike tile. So you're going to just, and uh, it goes on a purple tile, by the way. Uh, her black passive, it is an active power. She can make strikes with it. But it, as a passive, states that, hey, if all the purple tiles are yours, and that includes, um, web tiles countdown tiles like anything special that's yours that you can own so i don't think it counts abysses abyss tiles i don't think it counts there's certain things it doesn't count i don't think it counts uh once upon a time i want to say it didn't count webs but lately it did and i find it to be kind of weird i think it's because anyone can own webs so they count as yours still i'm not sure why um, but I'm not going to question it. Anyways, if all the purples are yours, um, she removes all the specials from them, and you insta-kill the person in front. It doesn't matter how much health they have. She's, they're just dead. Of course, if they have an ability to bring them back to life, like one of our favorite zombie characters like Chasm or I-Hulk, then they come back to life. 
But hey, it's a lot of hit point damage you could do in one fell swoop. And then finally her red, which is, it's okay. Does some damage, has a, um, has a countdown mechanic to it, and then it could do more damage per turn. And I don't know, it's not bad. But honestly, it's at the end of the day, you're going to do five black, you're going to do five blue. No one's using the red to get things done with Gamora. You don't need to. She does enough with the other two characters. Colors. Words. Words we're getting to see. Anyways, that's Gamora. She caused quite a bit of a tizzy at first because obviously you pair her up with Medusa and Carnage. All of a sudden, Medusa's making blue for Gamora, green for Carnage, purple for herself, and everyone's happy, and it's a, still a strong team. Um, she remains a really intriguing part for certain four-star themed teams, and I don't blame anyone for using her. That's good, Mori. I don't blame you for championing Gamora right now. She's still super good. Not sure what you run her at, though. Um, I'd say three at red and five. Uh, the other two colors, black and blue at five. Just saying, you're going to go a long way with that. Um, you're not going to you're not going to be steered wrong with that at all. Anywho, some people might say red at five and black at three, but I don't see why. I feel like her strike tile strength is super good on that black, so why not abuse it? Okay, well, let's go for Who are we using today? We're using Yandu, and we're not using boosts. Not how we do things here. Um, oh, boy. When Yandu got into Marvel Puzzle Quest way back when, um, he did not make a splash. If anything, he came with a joke. We're like, oh, he does the whole Mary Poppins thing, you know, with the Yaka parachute. It's kind of funny. It's not a bad ability. It is passive. So, you know, he's below 50% health. Match four is made. You get a four-turn countdown tile that restores 3,000 health each turn if one does not exist. So if it gets destroyed, you have to make another four-turn match to get this out there again. And it does give you back health each turn. It's not bad. It's just, you know, you got to make the match four. And sometimes there's dry boards, you know, where you just can't seem to get a match four running anywhere. So it's not the most reliable, but it is passive. So it's, it's nice for that purpose. Next after, what was that, Mori? Next after Gamora is Wiccan. Oh, so he'll be fun. He seems fun to use. You know, he, he is fun to use. He's got some fun mechanics. He's, uh... If anything, it's just kind of a shame that he doesn't get rolling until you have enough um, enough AP in each of the colors. So it, you can never get him rolling quick enough, it seems. But that's, you know, you'll see. <laughs> um, so back to Yandu, his black here is seven black. It's not expensive. It's pretty decent. Destroy up to seven AP in the enemy's highest color pool. Then create a strike tile of strength 88 for each AP destroyed. In other words, see if we put it down to three and four, it's destroy four AP. And then create a strike tile of that strength. 5 AP strength tile for the, of that strength. I do 7. Because for 7 black, you're getting rid of 7 enemy AP. It's a 7 for 7 um, cash in. And then 7 strike tiles as well. Um, it's There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's It does a good job of keeping the enemy AP in check. And giving you a lot more strength for it. And finally his blue, which is probably a cornerstone of his build takes 10 blue to fire it off so it's a little pricey but deals a good amount of damage we're talking about 16k almost on my screen here becomes yaka assault so at the start of each turn it deals that much damage to the enemy with the lowest health but if yandu takes so much so much damage or more the power reverts back to normal so in other words the passive stays out there forever and ever as long as he's not the one taking hits um of course team hits or whatever can definitely thwart this but hey it's kind of fun to have like 16,000 and then it keeps doing damage per tick that's pretty good it's not bad but that's the Yandu kit if I had to suggest I'm looking at it right now three five five it's not a bad kit whatsoever um, if you want to put this up higher for more health restoration and more chances of it going off that's great you do you just saying I would run three five five Ready? Let's do a Yandu versus Gamora fight. And we'll turn the animations on because it's one-on-one. -on -one. I guess we'll have to do... we got to make a match five when I see it. So purple goes up, team-ups come down. There we go. 
I gotta admit, I can't wait to show you guys some of the tricks I just used today. I was playing around with some new ideas I had in my head. Took the family out to dinner, an idea came to my head, and I was like, wait a minute, and I, in the midst of my, of my soup and salad appetizers, I had to stop, like, wait a minute, something, something came here, told me to do something, a new idea. I just gave her a match five for no reason, didn't I? If I'm not careful, we're going to see her stun come out, and I don't want that. No one wants that. Um, we'll take a cascade here. She only takes her six blue to stun me, remember? I need ten blue to use mine. Um, there's no blue to match right now. No black to match. Ugh. Um, I guess we'll do this green and hopefully a blue will fall. Nope. Didn't happen. I'm going to take the blue. I'm leaving her the match for purple. She uses red, blue, and black in what she does, right? She's going to pick up two blue from that match four and one red. I'll take the three blue. See, it's not enough to get her to, to roll yet with her blue. So, But this is enough for me. I could kill her right now. But I kind of want to get enough black just to show off her animation if we can. What's that, Mori? I missed a last message there. I'm sorry. Kind of want to champion that guy that uses all the colors. Oh, that would be um, God, what uh, Legion? You're talking about Legion, Mori. Um, Legion can be super fun. He's got actual good at utility if you're willing to mess around with it. Ah, she's got six blue. Yuck. Do I just weather the storm? Call it a day. Let's see. What's her blue gonna do to me? Two turns. I think we can weather the storm. We want to see what the black uh, animation looks like. She's going to take them right now, though. This is match four. Gets rid of the black. I wanted the black. Um, Legion's got six abilities. They all cost six apiece. Um, one for each the color besides team up. And his black one is an invisibility. She actually killed me, guys. This is what I get for um, for letting her live. Okay, let's go back in there. No illusions this time. No, 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 no. She's getting it. <laughs> this is what I get for for messing around and trying to like get her to see all the animations. Mm -mm. That didn't happen. Nope, nope, nope. Um, let's go with. We'll take that black. She's already got three blue. If we see enough blue come through, we're just we're just gonna just gonna get rid of her. Thought I missed something there. There we go. Um, yeah, his uh, back to what I was saying. Legion's black is six, and it's invisibility. It's in other words, it's cheap invisibility. Um, and that's really really super important. The fact that you can get out of so many things just for six black. And not to mention his other abilities, red's a nuke, um, like blue's a support that like buffs tiles, I want to say. Uh, yellow punishes enemy tiles, uh, green puts out special tiles. There's like so many things he can do. You just have to be willing to play around with it. Let's see. We're like, what, one black away from firing off and seeing it? Seeing it? I'm not learning my lesson, am I? Well, she's almost dead though. We can last like a little longer. Do I? I can't match that yellow because that'll give her the black match. Uh, what if I do this? I'm just kind of doing a side move here. Okay. I'm hoping this makes a black land. Nope. Come on. There you go, there's black. Okay, so now we get to see all the animations besides Yaka Parachute. Time to ruse. Okay. Destroyed 7 AP in her red. I got those strikes out there, that's pretty cool. Uh, I promise you, you're not gonna get to see the parachute here, but it is the whole like, you know, him floating down parachute thing, if you've seen the movie. Yeah, it's fun. And then there goes that. Bye bye.
A lot better when you get to see the animations in full, in my opinion. Okay. That was Yandu's Crash the Titans. With a little bit of warning to you, don't let Gamora get an inch. <laughs> she will insta-kill you. Ugh. Anyways. Thank you for that much. Uh, we're going to move on over to Peer into Madness. <laughs> 